was scratched in here and probably would have been the favorite. That role will be assumed by G. I. Joe with Doug Brenly from the outside. Here they come in the opener. They're all in line. They're on. And bet on private jet gets the early lead. On the outside, G.I.M. Joe, then Creokita down at the rail is Broadway Willie Will. Broadway Willie Will. Debbie Schneider, Broadway Willie Will, the two horse. Time of the race, 1865 for the 350. Look at this payoff. Broadway Willie Will, 92, 90, 36, 20, 1960. The 12 horse, the chalk, run second, Giama Joe, Doug Brindley, 360, 260. The 10 horse, che Chirito Cheetah, Jeff Jones, returning $3.20 to show. Second race on the card, second half of the daily double here, six and a half furlongs, thoroughbreds go at it. Claimers, darting Dan Lass, even money from the rail with Ronnie Allen Jr. Let's see if they can catch the chalk, load them up, let them rip, second half of the double. They're on. On the outside, no second to choice was first from the gate, darting Dan Lass. Now up on the inside, along with time for Lindy, longingly on the outside is next, and Chapina. Down the back stretch. Time for Lindy. No second choice right there on the outside. Longingly is third and darting. Dan Lass fourth. And moving up at the rail, Chapina is fifth, just about a length and a half off the leader. A gap of four back to offshore drilling. Another gap of five to Sharna's gem and by request only. Time for Lindy has the lead by a half. Chapina on the outside is next at the rail is darting Dan Last, then no second choice. Top of the stretch, time for Lindy. Has the lead by two, Chapina is next, darting Dan Lass, and then a gap of five to no second choice. A furlong to run. It's time for Lindy. By three, Chapina is next, time for Lindy. In front. Under the wire, the winner here, time for Lindy, Karen Knapp. One seventeen and four the time, good time in here. Here are the payoffs. The five horse, time for Lindy. $10, 540 and 260. The eight horse run second. Chapina, Flavio Martinez, 540 and $3. And the one horse, darting Dan Last, Ronnie Allen Jr., the favorite in here, $2.40 to show. Two, five, daily double today. Broadway, Willie Will, Debbie Schneider in the opener. Time for Lindy. Karen Knapp is the girl's boot home. The double today, two, five, five $551.80. Exact in the second race. The numbers five and eight. Time for Lindy, Chapina, $49.20. Now, there was an objection in this race. Ronnie Allen, Jr., aboard Darting Dan Lass, the one horse, claimed foul against the five horse ridden uh, in the second race by Karen Knapp, and we'll take a look at that now. Five horse on the outside of the lighted circle here. That's Karen Knapp aboard Time for Lindy. Ronnie Allen, Jr., on Darting Dan Lass along the rail now. Ronnie Allen claiming that Karen Knapp came over on him, causing him to check his horse right here. Now you'll notice that Ronnie's horse now has fallen back to fifth place. Now let's take another look at it from the running angle. Okay, now we'll see this from another angle. There's Ronnie Allen in red on the one horse laying fourth here. Now, the, the question here is, does Karen Knapp's horse come down toward the rail and impede Ronnie Allen's progress along the rail? Does he have position? We'll see. Ronnie moving his horse up now. Does he have position on the rail? That's the question you've got to ask yourself right here, right now. Does he have position on the rail? Now, does Karen Knapp's horse come down to the rail and take that position away from Ronnie Allen or not? We'll see as they move into the corner here. That's Karen Knapp on the lead. 
with time for Lindy. There's Ronnie Allen checking as the incident occurs. You be the judge. And we'll be right back after this. Hello. Ed feels we should have a jingle to introduce our new Bartles and James premium peach cooler. He's hired Stoney Munson and the Stonecutters, who recorded since my peach walked out on me, life has been the pits. They're trying to give it a more upbeat feel and work in some words about our all-natural peach, peach taste. Peach. Please do not let the fact that we do not yet have a jingle keep you from trying our new Bartles and James premium peach. Thanks for your support. People get a real thrill out of being a part of the race. And on Memorial Day, you'll also get something else. Get a handy sports bag free this Memorial Day at Canterbury Downs. Gates open early at 10.30. Third race on the card, Maiden Claimers. Five and a half furlongs a distance here for these fine thoroughbreds. From the rail here, Royal Rum Dum, Ronnie Allen Jr. goes at eight to one. The one they had to beat in here was Speedy Tip from the outside. My selection, he went at four to one. Let's load them up, let them rip, and see how this one turns out. They're all in line. They're on. Chemo's Queen quickly for the early lead. Twisted Steel on the inside. Broad Limit is third, and General Johnny up on the outside fourth. Three lengths back, Speedy Tip fifth, and Royal Rum Dum sixth on the inside. Chocolate Shadow is seventh, Loud Party is eighth, Tugger is ninth. Ply the record, next racing in tenth. Run for Brenda on the inside in Mel's double time. Midway on the turn, Twisted Steel has the lead broad limit on the outside a gap of two chemo's queen is next royal rum dum on the inside down the stretch twisted steel in front by four now broad limit next royal rum dum on the inside and tugger on between horses it's twisted steel in front Albert Minchie and Joe Merrick team up here on a thoroughbred at five and a half furlongs. The time, 106 and one. The payoffs, Twisted Steel, Albert Minchie, five dollars, four dollars and 280. The four horse Tugger runs second in here with Catherine Tremaine who will ride in the big race on Sunday, returning ten dollars and 720. And the rail horse, Royal Rum Dum, Ronnie Allen Jr., $6.20 in the bottom. 3-4 Exacta, Twisted Steel, Tugger, $65 even. Fourth event of the afternoon, sent thoroughbreds at it. Six furlongs, maiden claimers here. Explosive landing from the rail with Richard Atkins at 5-1. to one. Emerald Native was a scratch with Kathy Craig. The one they had to beat was Dino on Ultra Prize. And our victory with Walter Rona had a shot in here. Here they come to kick off of the pick six. They're off. On the outside, brother Roy Lee was first from the gate. Now explosive landing. Moves up on the inside. Marouche is next. Ultra prize has gained and then comes range law a gap of two lengths our victory now in sixth dominar k is seventh track taxi next eighth commander perry on the outside ninth chester lee is tenth and brevik is eleventh rounding the far turn explosive landing on the inside an ultra prize right there on the outside that brother roy lee and marouche at the rail a gap of six lengths to Dominar K. They turn for home. Ultra prize in front of half. 
Explosive landing at the rail is next brother Roy Lee, then comes Marouche. At the 16th pole, it's ultra prized by two, a late run by Chester Lee. Ultra prized. Dino into the wire here with ultra prize. Time of the race, one 13 flat to payoffs. Ultra prize, Kathy Hutchison and Dino team up here. 620, 380, and 280. The five horse Chester Lee, look for him next time out. Vicki Warhol, $7 and 420. And the two horse Marouche, Ronnie Allen Jr., $3.60 in the bottom. Fifth race on the card, Q's back at it again, 350 yards the distance. Their claimers here in Goodwins. Rambo Jet out of the three hole had the lovely and talented Natalie Kelleher aboard. Stereo Sound with Marty Leach came from the eight hole. The one they had to beat was Paul Paul Passam, my best bet of the day. He's divine from the outside with Eddie Cervantes. Here they come, race five. Zero. And Mac. Simon goes for the early lead. On the inside, Rambo Jet moves up along with time out at Quincy Little Miss Ramrod on the inside. From the extreme outside, he's divine Rambo Jet. Natalie Kelleher under the wire here with Rambo Jet. Time of the race, 1846. I think that's the year that former producer Paul Hendrickson was born. The three horse wins at Rambo Jet, Natalie Kelleher, $15. 640, 440. The eight horse, Stereo Sound. Marty Lee, $7 and 620 in the 12 horse. He's Divine Eddie Cervantes, $5 and 20 cents in the bottom. 3 8 exact in here. Rambo Jet, Stereo Sound, $71 and 40 cents. Six race on the card today. Maidens here at six furlongs. Private ceremony and summer concert were the two horses that looked like they had the best shot to win. It's seven in the eight. Summer concert goes at three to one. Private ceremony, nine to five. Here they come in the six. One. Zero. And Expropiar goes for the lead along with KL Special. Summer concert up on the outside, and then comes private ceremony into third. Hackety Sack is fourth. Jim B racing fifth. Dress code is sixth on the outside. Dakota Halo in seventh. Expropiar has dropped back. A gap of four back to Golden Whiskey, followed by Sheriff Tip and Hot Leather. Rounding the far turn. Summer concert on the outside. And KL Special at the rail. Three lengths back is Hackety Sack. And Dakota Halo on the inside. Top of the stretch, summer concert on the outside. KL Special right there towards the rail. A gap of two lengths, Dakota Halo. Hackety Sack on the outside. Moving now to the 16th pole. It's KL Special. Dakota Halo looks to get through at the rail. Dakota Halo at the rail and KL Special. Donna Barton takes Dakota Halo down the rail for her second winner in two days. Congratulations, Donna. One, 13 and three the time, the Mutuals. Dakota Halo, Margraf and Barton, 2440, dollars $11.07. The five horse run second, KL Special, Joey Castro, 20, 27, 60. And the three horse, Hackety Sack, Mike Ziegler, $4 on the bottom. 20. Five exacta, same as the daily double today. If you would have bet 25 all day long, you'd be a rich man or woman, depending upon your gender. $415 even. Seventh race on the card here. Fine claimers go at it. Six furlongs the distance. Who's Pinky? Came from the rail here. Steve and Terry, a 14 to 1. Go Little Queenie, an old favorite from last year. Far, far better with Dina was the one they had to beat. Uh, four to five. Diablo Liz, another old favorite. Two to one. An ice ballet, the flop came from the outside. Here they come in the seventh. They're all in line. They're on. Terry Ann on the outside for the lead. Far, far better. Is next high above you into third. Who's Pinky? 
At the rail is next, and then I'm top racing fifth, the gap of two, Ice Ballet on the outside. Go Little Queenie is seventh, and Diablo Liz trails into the far turn. Far, far better, has the lead by two. I'm tough now under pressure, that one in second. High above you, on the inside is third. Two lengths back, Terry Ann racing fourth, and then comes, who's Pinky? Ice Ballet is next, go little Queenie on the inside, and Diablo Liz. Head of the stretch, far, far better, has the lead, high above you. On the inside is next, I'm tough. On the outside, now Ice Ballet quickly on. On the extreme outside, Diablo Liz has come from last. By the 16th pole, Ice Ballet and Diablo Liz on the outside, then go little Queenie. Ice Ballet under the wire here with the flop. 112 and three the time, the payoffs. Ice Ballet, $45, $16.20, and $9.60. The five horse Diablo Liz runs second in here with Daryl Montoya. $4.40, $3.60. Got your Diablos, you got your L1s. The two horse Go Little Queenie with Vicki Warhol runs third. $4.80 to show. And we'll be right back after this. Hello. Ed feels we should have a jingle to introduce our new Bartles and James Premium Peach Cooler. He has hired Stony Munson and the quarter horses, claimers at 400 yards. I took Coin Bug trying to slap out of an 0 for 18 streak here. Doc for Diamonds had a big shot. B Master out of the seven hole got some late play. Harumpe out of the nine hole, here they come in the eight. They're all in line. They're all. On the outside, B Master goes for the early lead. Rocket Watcher, shuffle the deck on the inside, Doc for Diamonds. Coin Bug now up on the outside. Coin Bug has the lead. Coin Bug finally get a winner for the Dark Man, Darren Miller aboard. Coin Bug returning 660, 340, and 280. The five horse action strings, Jimmy Hunt, 440, 340, and the three horse. Shuffle the deck, Mikey Burgess, 360. One, five, exacta, 15, exacta. Coin bug, action, strings, 26, even. Ninth race on the card, the featured event of the day. Claimers at six furlongs here. Economic growth. Out of the four hole, went off at seven to two with Ronnie Allen, Jr. But the one they had to tangle with today, good old buddy with Dino. Goes off at nine to five from the nine hole. Here they come in the feature. Farrell. Good old buddy on the outside for the lead. Warm air is next. Christmas native on the inside. Economic growth right there and bored with it all. Up at the rail. Down the back stretch. It's good old buddy with the lead. On the inside is bored with it all. Economic growth is right there, and a warm air up on the outside, a gap of three, back to Christmas Native. It's good old buddy with the lead by two, warm air is next, economic growth, then comes board with it all at the rail, in fourth, Law Legend, now racing fifth. Down the stretch. It's good old Buddy by four now. Warm air is next. Economic growth is third. Look him over on the outside. Next in fourth. That's good old Buddy. They won't catch him today. Good old Buddy all alone at the wire. Time of the race, one, ten, and two. Dean Coots on good old Buddy, the winner here. 560, 380, and 360. The 10 horse, Warm Air, Daryl Montoya, winner in here last week, returns 10, 40, and $7. And the 11 horse, Rising Reality, with the flob, returns $8 to show. They finish 9, 10, 11. You don't see that very often. Exact in here, 9 and 10. Good old buddy, Warm Air, 67, 60. In the pick six today, more good news in the six. Here's the numbers for you. 
73, 28, 19. Total pool, 34,000 and change. Six to six, nobody home. Five to six, five times, $2,637.40. Carry over for you tomorrow. Got about 32 grand to shoot at. Here comes the triple. I love the triple. Eight, one, nine. Return $662.40. Don't forget to stop by and see the tax, man. Nightcap time at the Downs. Race number 10 here on Friday. A beautiful afternoon. Claimers that go six for you. 100 honors from the rail with David Espen. The one they had to beat in here was Silent Spell. Ortiz Jr., this horse hadn't run since Christmas. Let's see if he can shake the bubble lights and get home first here. They're on. Robin on stage on the outside for the lead. Orphan's Ridge now moves up. At the rail is a hundred honors. Then Silent Spell, favorite thing. Gross Steel on the outside and Papa's Reason is seventh, only about five off the leader. They go to the half. Orphan's Ridge has the lead. Silent Spell is next and favorite thing right there on the outside. Robin on stage is fourth, 100 honors back to fifth. Then comes Papa's Reason and Gross Steel. Orphan's Ridge on the inside. Silent Spell is right there and favorite thing on the outside. Down the stretch, Silent Spell by a length. Orphan's Ridge. On the inside, a hundred honors is next. Then comes favorite thing and Robin on stage. Inside the 16th pole, it's Silent Spell with a hundred honors. First time out for Silent Spell. Spell's victory for David Nordstrom here. In the nightcap time, 1-12 and 2. Manny Ortiz aboard. Pat Cucarulo, the trainer. Five dollars, three dollars, and two sixty. The rail horse, a hundred honors, David Esman. Four dollars and three forty. Big move down the lane here, and the two horse Orphans Ridge, Mikey Ziegler, returns four dollars and twenty cents in the bottom. Four one exacta. Silent spell. Hundred honors. Twenty two dollars and eighty cents. Well, that wraps up another exciting day at the Downs. Don't forget, big weekend card coming up here. Saturday, Sunday, Monday at one thirty. We've got tremendous racing for you. Come out and see us. And if for some odd reason you can't get out here. You can join us at 9 o'clock or 11.35 on WCCO2. I'm Dark Star. Thanks for being with us. We love 